That's a chapter of Stonewall Strong, God Loves Me Too, the inside truth about religion and homosexuality. When you talk to religious leaders within the LGBT community, like Rabbi Sharon Kleinbaum uh, at CBST in New York, um, Congregation Beth Simchat Torah, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly in Hebrew, but um, you talk to Reverend Troy Perry, you talk to Bishop Gene Robinson, the first openly gay bishop of the Episcopal Church, and more broadly, of the Anglican Communion, global Anglican Communion. Um, you talk to folks like that who have put their religious values where their mouth is and where their body is and put themselves on the line. I mean, Troy Perry you know, has been beaten up, um, attacked, had a gun pulled on him, had metropolitan community churches burned to the ground, had their ministers killed. Um, but he said, I've survived all that and I'm not going anywhere. And I use his story to set the stage in the chapter of Stonewall Strong called Gay Power that leads up to the Stonewall Riots in 1969. But I, I tell Troy Perry, of all of the activists who I could have um, chosen from their story, I told the story of a religious leader because I wanted to make the point that it was people who had these strong religious values, like in the, the black civil rights movement, who were frequently part of that movement in the 60s, and then they applied what they learned from the civil rights movement to the, the gay equality movement, and that spirit of standing up and saying, I will not be ashamed, I will not be silenced anymore. I reject that, that role that society has cast me in. Um, those were frequently religious leaders um, who believed with everything in their being that they were equal in every way, including their claim to God's love. I mean, that was pretty profound and a real poke in the eye at the uh, prevalent image of gay people and religion that they are mutually exclusive terms. Um, <clears throat> my most recent Psychology Today blog, uh, I wrote about that and about how it was precisely people of faith, LGBT folks of faith, who were some of the loudest and most active people in the equality movement, really driving it and bringing the moral force um, to that movement, because they truly believed you know, at their deepest depths that what we're doing in wanting to be free and equal really was righteous, that it really was what their faith compelled them to do.